Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be telling you about the leaks in FIFA and how to make coins in FIFA during Team of the Year. Now, I've been just stocking up on a load of rare golds. I also, 83s. I'm trying to. I'm gonna start stocking up on 83s, but um. Yeah, a lot of rare golds, and I might even start going to 84s as well. You you want to find 84s at about 3k, but anyways. So, the market is a bit weird, but you can make coins from it. Now, we know last week, or this week I think, 84s, or 85s went up to about... 15, 18, 20k, and even extinct. And I think, and also this week, there was, I mean, be thinking that it will take into next week for with 83s and 84s going up in price. I got this essential for like 800 coins. I've been bidding on them for about 800 coins. If you can get it for 800 coins, you'll get a lot of coins from that. Now, it's not just that, but with gold rares, we know that they're going to go up to about 1 to 1.5k. You really want to stock up, stock up on these. If you don't have a lot of coins, if you only have about 10k, try to stock up on these because you can make like a 50% um, or 40%. Um, you know what I mean. You you make like forty percent of your coins. Now, if you're even low of a budget, you could go to silvers. Silvers have been fluctuating a lot. I mean, you could also do something like bronzes. Um, but I don't know much about bronzes. I do know a bit though. So if we go over to bronzes and then the Kaylee, there could be if you look for about 800 coin cards. That's that's that is what's gonna happen. Yeah, okay. Maybe just look for ones that are bid because they are used for they're used for what's it called? SBCs, they're used for the um, league SBC things, mixed league SBCs. So yeah, look for that. Now another thing that I've been a little another a player that I've been looking at. You can look at multiple players, but this player I've been looking at because he fluctuates a lot. He goes from about one k to about two and a half k. Look at that. And yesterday, I was looking at him, and he was about, he was like, I got him for 2k, and even then I could just do a quick flip, because not many people are looking at him, not many people realise that he's actually, like, a good player to use, and with these SBCs, that everyone is trying to grind because they're being told, oh, they're amazing. And they are very, very good. But they're also very, very good to trade with. Now, I think I'm going to go back to gold rares. I'm going to go back to gold rares. Gold rares are going to go up a lot. And that's from, like, all of those... What's it called? You know, um... The SBCs where you have a specific league. You don't need a specific league of gold rares, but you need gold rares. So gold rares are going to go up quite a lot. And I won't be surprised if they get to almost 2k. If they get to 2k, I won't be surprised because you need a full team of gold rares just to complete one of them. Or like something like a league. And it's like it's 12 players and you can get league and Syria. Be Bund oh my God. Bundesliga, um, Premier League, and people are going to want to do that. And we know it's coming because it comes every single FIFA. So that's going to be a big one. Now the reason we're also investing into 83s and 84s is because whenever they go down during Team of the Year, they're going to go back up. 
we know this because there's going to be the midfielder 83 times 3 upgrade. These and they cost for midfielders and defenders 80 an 84 rated player and an 83 rated squad. So 84s might go to about 5k. 5.5k 6k maybe because I've seen them go up to 6k and that was literally about yesterday what and they move really quick you need to really keep a close eye on them because what happened to me I got I put my I think I'll put on the market I put my uh, uh, Suarez on the market for six, about 5.6k for one hour and then it, during the time that I'd put him on the market, he'd went back down to about six, like about three point three k on bid. So yeah, these are three point seven k. Try and get them for about three k on bid because that's the that would be really good. You'd get quite a big bounce back so there's someone bid for I can just bid about I'll bid about about I'll bid just I'm dead on 3k you can I, I'd say go up to about 3.3k for those um, and then just put them on your transfer list now with leagues we've had a lot of leagues about like um, well, we've had a lot of leaks about these Team of the Year Honourable Mentions. Now, we've got three Team of the Year Honourable Mentions already. So, we've got Dwan, who's a really good player. I'm, I'm doing this because not only does it get you packs, but it gets you three Honourable mention players. So, you've got Dwan. He's incredibly fast. He's got insane dribbling. Not very good strength, though. Um, He's got pretty good passing. Shooting's not that good, but you can boost that up. This card is really good for just a free card, and you've got more than one, you've got three. So, we can't really see the in game stats actually. If I go onto concepts, I can show you the in game stats. Right up, but, anyways, look at these cards. So, Martinez, he's just a keeper, but he has a really good card for a free card and a keeper like that is that would if that was in a promo that'd be about 100k i'm not gonna lie because of how good this card is and then you've got unahi unahi he's center mid in ligan so that those links are already pretty good if you put like a shadow on him he'll be up pretty good uh maybe an anchor that's not that good of a card though with no traits how many shots does this guy have? Outside the foot shot. So think about all of everything in the meta today with playing matches. He's got outside the foot shot. And you can play him Cam. And he, that looks like a really good card for Cam. Put an engine on him and he'll be insane. You don't really need to put an engine on him. I'd say something like a Hawk would be better. But... You know, you do you or Catalyst maybe. Now, that that's pretty good to me. I mean, those are free cards. You can get those cards for free. And I think we're gonna see. We might we might see people using them. If I don't think we'll see people like other cards going up in price because of the links. There's not very good links anyways, except for Martinez. But, I think there could be Aston Villa players going up, but I don't know really any Aston Villa players. Let me see. Let me see any meta Aston Villa players. Leon Bailey, I guess. There's Leon Bailey, but he's cheap. Douglas Louise, he's also just fodder. So there's not many at all. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but still, 
I think that's a really good card. And Courtois, I mean, Courtois is hard to pack. He's, you've just got to do a few games, well, like 21 games. But still, you you don't have to do, like, it, it, it's, I think it's better. Right, I think it's a really good thing. Now, in the SBCs, we haven't had a lot. I thought there'd be a bit more, but they're just hyping us up for next week. And also, maybe even today or tomorrow, I think we can get League SBCs. It depends. But still, I think rares will go up soon. But you just got to wait. Keep on stocking them. I, what I do with my rares is I so I stock up a load and then what I do is I just um, the ones that I don't have I will store the club the ones that I do have I will put into my transfer list because there's always ones that don't really wait up look at that right there's always ones that don't at all really that I don't have and there's some that I do have so don't worry about getting duplicates just try and bid on them for 650 coins that person just did a lazy buy that person's pretty lucky to get their card sold it's got a card that was 900 coins Sometimes I even just buy them for 700 coins, but I'd rather just bid on them because it takes the same amount of time. You get more cards, and you, you might not get all of the bids, but you get quite a few. You put, you get definitely get more, I think, than you would then just buy them for 650 coins. So I think that's a win. Don't worry about if you're gonna if you're buying duplicates. Because just you just put the duplicates in the transfer market, and then you put the ones that you don't have in your club, right? Well, if you, that's if you're already stocking them, if you want to stock them just to trade with them, you can do that, right? You can put them all into the transfer list. If you just want to use them for the other things, and you just want to use them for your um doing them, that's what you can do. But. I think you should do a bit of both because they both do, are really good to do like that. So I'm down to like 50,000 coins and I could get about a 40% rise. I had about 200k. So I think I can go up to about 300, 350k just from those. It depends on how much they rise. Um, I think they will rise quite a bit though. So, okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to stop. <laughs> I could just store them into club. So, right, that's probably my last ones. Okay, so he's been that much. I'll leave I'll leave that to him. Um Right, so there's been more leaks. I need to find those leaks real quick. Wait up. Alright, so we're also looking we it's looking like we're gonna get a few different packs that are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking like we're getting about four to six packs right and it's just in the code now i think we can get a a full common go a gold common pack is there another time called no right full common gold pack a hundred players in there which would really help out i think there would be about an 82 and an 81 all rare golds maybe that alone might make it make them go up so i think that will still just be really good really good spc make prices go up because everyone 
we want to do it. It's not like a oh, I'm gonna get a team of the year out of it, a team of the year nominee. No, obviously not. But it really does put a lot of players in your squad. If EA do it for about an 80 rated squad, that would be really good. That would be amazing. They have done outdone themselves there because that's 11 players and just an 80 rated squad like rare golds, and that's for a hundred um common gold, which right now are quite a bit of in price right you can't buy them from in price anymore and it's just a bit sad because they used to be minimum price what okay that's just that's just snipes really and now they're going for a bit more okay well they're not they've run down i don't know what to say right but yeah so i think that's just amazing good in price and i i think that's really good to be honest with you uh next one now in the species again 84 and uh, 84 and uh, plus elite pack is said to be coming it's been said to be coming for quite a bit of time and it's like an 83 10 but an 84 10 right and i think they'll be pretty good i think it'll be about three eighty sixes or something and an eighty three rated squad. I think even that would be overpriced. But still, you know it well actually not that overpriced, but still i think that would be alright. People would definitely do it. Which is another reason why eighty fours and eighty threes would go up. Eighty threes would definitely go up for that. Eighty fours not so much because You've got three 86s, you'd probably be able to put, if you had an 83 rated squad, you'd probably be able to put all the rest 82 or 81. So, yeah. But there's also other packs that will be getting, like, the mid the 83 plus midfield pack, like I said, that will give us, obviously, three 83 plus midfielder, midfielders, and that is an 84 rated player and an 83 rated squad so 84s will go up just from that one 84 that you need to put in there and 83s will go up from those about seven that you need to put in there or six you need to put in there and i'm not surprised that that will happen and i think that people are still stocking up the club some people and a lot of people have opened their packs and people are now going and go they're opening more packs right now and they'll probably stop now and then they'll start again today at six o'clock but i don't i think that some people are still saving for that last week which means fod up will go up then because uh, you probably think no it go down because people would be stocking up the club and they'll have a lot of fodder but then People would be doing no le man left behind, and even if they aren't, if they went, okay, I'm going to put this into an SBC, and they were doing an SBC like Paul Pogba, or Sergio Ramos, or Hugo Sanchez, someone like that, if they were doing a player that has quite a few um, SBC things, or they'll be doing the, there's going to be probably a new one that is a mid-prime, or World Cup icon, they might be doing that, which will be about four or five squads, right? So I think it'll be four though. So they'll be doing that, and then they won't have enough. They won't have enough, and then they'll have to buy out more. And so I think that's going to go up, and also going to go up just because of that SBC being there. That SBC being there, people are going to want to do that SBC, and they're going to buy. They're going to buy fodder. Now. I think that's why fodder, even at all prices, to be honest with you, maybe even at 91s, if we get a player of the month, Mbappe, which we might not, because EA haven't done it yet, I don't think they would have put him, put him into SBCs while he's a, a team of the year, and just generally because everything will blow up. But if we do get that, 91s will go up, the whole market, the whole fodder market will go up so high so high and if you have invested into 91 and 88 even just with the Paul Pogba they will go up and if we get Mbappe POTM 
he though those for the prices will rise up and I'm saying about for like 87s they'll be about 40k and then 91s will be about 70k it will be insane so we're still clinging on to the concept of Mbappe being a player of the month if he isn't a player of the month not everything will go up but still from all the SBCs they will still go up quite a lot so yeah I'd say inv right now invest into what's almost safe not because just because it's I think it's better to make coins with certain things if you're gonna make them with like rares because like for example let's go into Chesney Chesney has gone up in price because of how we think that what's his name is that how you spell his name no um has Chesney has gone up because of how there's a pool pull pool of Pogba SBC coming out and I think he's a good, he could be a good investment he's find about the right price though so I think he's dipped down a bit let's see if we can find him I don't know I because I haven't been trading with him I don't know what good price for him is I think he's a tiny bit cheaper than normal, but not much. So he's about 60k. And people obviously think this is a good card, right? And he's really cheap. So people are going to go out buying him to get him and then also have Paul Pogba into their squad. So you could look at that. I'm not the right guy to ask really though with that because I don't really know anything about that I just I'm more with gold and fodder prices fodder prices have went up amazingly high and they went back down and now they're gonna go back up I think an 85 85 rated could also go up because of how we have stuff like hmm, we have like all of those SBCs and a lot more things so yeah guys that's the end of the video um, this this market with gold rares and fodder and all of that is going to go up a lot so yeah guys I hope you liked the video um, See you next time. If you want me to stream, just tell me that you want me to stream. I haven't been doing as many videos because I've been a bit busy, obviously, grinding. You know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, I'll see you next time. And bye.